It's Sunday morning. It's Window Sports at Window Sports. You can find us. Tony Adam. It's a 5 5 MLB. Early look for the eight game slate today that starts at 135. And yesterday, we rode Man Max. I understand that he was popular, maybe not so popular because he was so high of a number, but a 40 point performance, which is exactly what we wanted. So, Adam, who's going to be the ace of the slate today? You know, I understand that he's coming off kind of a very mediocre start, but for me, it's still Corbin Burns. There's been a bit of a roller coaster to his production lately. He's either been over 30 or like under 15 <laughs> if you scroll through these game logs. But this is a really good bounce back spot. He's at home. He gets the Reds. The Reds are in the bottom five with just about every category against righty pitching this year. His K rates are over 32% to each side of the plate. Even when he has these odd games, there's nothing in his profile that leads you to be like, oh, well, you know, Burns is probably due for some regression or anything like that. So, yeah, I know he had kind of a crap game last time. I don't really care. Back at home, 10-3, I'm still in. He, he's still a little bit underpriced for what his upside is here. He has that double-digit K potential because he yep. is Corbin Burns. I never feel uncomfortable starting Corbin Burns. What about your 1B? Who are you going to pair him up with? Because there's a lot of top-heavy guys here, a lot of mid-range guys. Who are you looking at as that second pitcher? So, you know, it's, it's kind of a weird slate. First off, we only have eight games. There's only 16 total options. And I think the comfort level kind of stops at Frankie Montas at 8,700. Past that, it, it gets a little dicey, but I'm going to throw a name out that I think is going to make you different right off the bat. Because I think everyone's going to spend up on pitching, which dictates a certain build from your bat. But if you want to get different, Spencer Watkins is kind of an oddball pitcher. You look at it, his profile doesn't look great, but I really think it's still suffering from he had a 12 inning bout in May where his ERA was in the double pit. He just got hammered. They sent him back down to AAA. He comes back up since the start of July. It's only been 29 innings, not a huge sample. ERA under 230, a Woba under 265, K rate around 20%, and a fifth of 265. He gets the Pirates. He's at home. Only 6,500. And if you look again, game logs aren't everything, but you start to see these stats poke out 22, 19, 20, 19. That's against the Twins, the Rangers, the Cubs, and the Rangers again. But those are much better offenses that he's going to be facing today and three of them are on the road I, I really do like him as a punt if you you know if you're trying to get all the bats that you want i like that play a lot i do and, and we talk about punk 6500 and look at his pitch count since he's come back i mean he's going up in pitches every single game which means they're trusting him more he's going late in games one run or less in four of his last five starts i mean yeah. what more right what more do you want for 6500 k's not going to be huge but you know burns is doing the heavy lifting on the strikeouts and he's just getting out he's not getting hit that's all you need for 1700 worth of pitching yeah it's actually a very very good play now we got the pitch taken care of what about the bats the stacks who are we looking at today i mean i'm sticking right in baltimore bryce wilson's on the mound for pittsburgh i, I told you before going to stream i think if i hit lefty i might be able to at least not a single against bryce wilson against lefties this year 390 average 475 loba which is just 2.28 home run for nine. His fifth is 649. The whip is over two. Over two hitters per inning on base somehow. Walks, hits something. If you're a lefty in this Baltimore lineup, Adley Rushman, Cedric Mullins, and I'm going to give Jared a shout out because he put this in Discord and it is a great play. Turin Vavra, you know, just recently called up only eight games in the majors. Hits lefty, two grand flat. Probably not going to hit for a lot of power. He didn't in the minors. He's hitting 389 and he had a 400 Woba in the minors. I'll take that all day from the left side of the plate against Bryce Wilson that 2k flat ffbp worthy right there and you, here's the thing about pitching you understand something you have to work to get a whip above two you have to work <laughs> to get that like, it's that's really so bad. bad that's so bad he's faced 120 he's, and he still has this amount it's let me also say something because i know we talked all fair uh before the stream but start playing some phillies man i'm just telling yeah. you start playing some Phil and, until draft kings catches up with pricing play the damn phillies i'm just telling you, we told you yesterday or we told you the day before nick castiano still only 3700 i'm telling you right now the guy's batting 404 since the all-star break this is how good this guy's been Okay, Derek Hall, the rookie who just gets double digit plays every other game, is only 3,300. And Al Bohm, who's probably the hottest hitter in baseball right now, is only four grand. And Adam mentioned earlier, too, second base is just looks like a, a mirage of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre of guys <laughs> that just aren't playing today. And Gene Secor is 3,900. Guess what? Three for four last night. So for that's my take on this. You know, start playing some Phillies. There's a very affordable Adam. 
any other final thoughts before we get out of here? No, just to kind of build on what you said. I mean, you could play three Orioles in Rutschman, Mullins, and the, the punt with Barbara. You could play Castellanos, Derek, Kinskor, all the guys you just mentioned. Plug in Burns and Aaron Nola, even if you want. If you want to go to double A throw, still 3,600 for your third base and shortstop. Just to show you some, some flexibility in your build and two offenses that are really, really good spots today. Yeah, a lot of flexibility available. A lot of value, which is what we like. As always, Win Daily Sports at Win Daily Sports is where you find us. This is the 5-5 five five. for Tony, for Adam. Everybody have a great Sunday. Remain profitable, and we'll catch you back here tomorrow.